Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where we're closing in on Halloween, and therefore it seems very appropriate that we take on the latest graveyard puzzle by F Jam. Now, we've done at least one. I, I think I've tried two of these F Jam puzzles before, uh, where you can see the gr these are graves. Each of the cages is a grave with a date of death on it. It's it's fabulous, this. Um, this one, though, has the rinky-dink. that It's called the Graveyard of Schrodinger. And there are Schrodinger cells. So there are cells in the grid that have to contain two digits. Um, and, yeah, the testers have looked at this. And they say it is an absolute work of genius. I, I noticed on Logic Masters Germany it has 99% approval. All the great comments you could possibly wish for. Um, and... Um, yeah, this is what we're going to have a look at today. So I'll read you the rules of this in a moment or two's time and we shall do battle with the graveyard or find our way through it. That's what we've got to do. We've got to find a path from here to here. Um, I'm just interrupting myself because Mark has told me that I have a job to do um, for Halloween, which is tomorrow, which is to solve a new puzzle. Um, I think it's a Halloween themed puzzle by Jane Street. It's called Tricky Treating. So I'm about to record a video of me attempting this puzzle. But underneath this video, there will be a link where you can play this puzzle. I think um, it seems to be uh, it's a bit like a, a puzzle hunty thing where We've got to solve some clues and somehow do some more things. Um, but anyway, I hope this will be a video for the channel tomorrow. If I can't do it, goodness only knows what we'll do. Um, but um, but yeah, have a go at this. It should be very good fun. See you. T see you. Ah, well, you know, now I'm going to continue with the video. Now, what can I tell you about before before we kick off? Uh, well done to all those of you who've been helping Hildegard in her quest to defeat the AIs over on the Discord server. Um, if you've not checked this out yet, you really should. There is a community solving battle going on in which the great and the good of the Sudoku community, i.e. you, are battling against um, the forces of evil in the form of lots and lots of puzzles um, uh, in, in a so-called alterna re alternative reality game. Um, and um, yeah, just go over to the Discord server and look at the puzzle hunt discussion and you'll find you'll find lots of stuff, including, um, well, the ability to basically recap on where the hunt is up to. Um, so that's, I definitely recommend it. The, the um, I better not say too much, but yeah, you, you really should check that out. Um, then, we're ne well, we're nearly there two days. Um, Wednesday is the 1st of November and that means it's Patreon Reward Day. 4pm um, UK time we'll be releasing a brand new Sudoku hunt. This is from Dimono, very much in the style of Dimono's last hunt, um, which was very popular, where basically there was a story, but to reveal the later chapters of the story, you had to solve the puzzles. So it's sort of a, a, a bit of a twist on Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens never made anybody um, solve puzzles to get the later chapters of his books. They just had to buy the Strand magazine. But in the modern world, you have to solve a puzzle. Um, so that's coming on Wednesday. Um, and uh, we know you're going to enjoy that. So check that out. Um, other things. I've got one birthday to do today. So I'm going to say a very happy birthday. Um, I think it's Kajetl. I hope I'm saying that correctly, who's turned 31 today. And the message comes with lots of love from your kids, uh, Vimon, Vimund, I think, uh, Axel, and your girlfriend, Marie. So, Kajetl, Kajetl, I think that's, is it, I'm not sure if the K is meant to be almost silent or not, Jetl, maybe. Um, happy birthday, my friend. I hope you have some chocolate cake, and I hope it is a very good day, and you'll forgive my pronunciation if I got it wrong. Um, and that's it. So with that, I'm going to I'm going to sit down and settle into solving mode, um, try and distract myself from the absolutely appalling weather we have here in the UK at the moment. Um, these are the rules of the puzzle anyway. Normal Sudoku rules almost apply. So we have to place the digits zero to nine into cells such that each digit appears once in every row, column and region. Um, so that probably means three by three box, I think. Um, to accommodate this, one cell in each row, column, and region is a Schrodinger cell, which contains two digits, so it's simultaneously alive and dead. It doesn't say that, but 
you you get what you get you get the reference i'm sure um in graves brackets cages digits must sum to the day month or year of the date on the grave so let's look at this one you see this has already thrown me because normally when you see nine in a four cell cage you'd immediately say well it can't add up to nine because one two three and four which would normally be the lowest digits add up to ten but because zero is a possibility it's very possible that they could add up to nine isn't it so the, these add up to nine twelve or twenty seven is what we're being told oh <laughs> the other thing we've got to remember is one of them might be a schrodinger cell so it might be five digits having to add up to one of those numbers which i think would eliminate nine um anyway we don't know um right what then it says digits cannot repeat within graves well i would have guessed that Escape the graveyard by carefully plotting an orthogonally connected path between the green and the red cells. The path may not cr the path may not cross the highest or lowest digits in a in a grave. So if this was uh, we need digits to add up to twelve. If this was one two three six, then the then the path could only go through the two and the three is what that means because it couldn't go through the one and the six as the highest and low, lowest digits in the k k in the cave in the grave in the cave grave um do have a go the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual but now i get to play fingers on keyboards let's get cracking um right i have no idea how to start this i'm slightly no <laughs> i was about to start by looking at this cage and saying it couldn't add up to one but that's wrong because it could be a zero and a one ah thir 31 oh no no because it can have a schrodinger cell oh oh goodness me this puzzle is i think going to be replete with the possibilities of making silly mistakes i mean again i looked at this and it, it instantly it feels totally anathema to me that this could add up to eight but it could do for the same reasons that one could add up to nine and then 31 in a four cell cage i i was instantly in my mind saying well at least we can knock that out but no we can't because one of these might be schrodinger ah um ah ah okay all right but one of these is not schrodinger is it okay so we start with the path ah uh, this is lovely this is a beautiful idea i think so th the thought i'm having is how do we how do we get this cell we have to have construct a path from green to red um which moves orthogonally and orthogonally means from um uh, across a, an edge so the path does not let's go to a path drawing tool it doesn't do that that's a diagonal move that's not an orthogonal movement from cell to cell we're either doing that as the first move or that as the first move but we said over here that we can't go through the highest or lowest digits of a cage now this is a two cell cage so well it's not a two and no, in fact it's not a two cell cage one of these cannot be a two cell cage because the two digits or it cannot be a two digit cage it is a two cell cage but it might not it cannot be a two digit cage because if it was a two digit cage let's just say it contained um six and seven then the six is the lowest digit the seven is the highest digit and neither could be entered and if that was the same here this could never get out so one of these cages has a schrodinger cell in it that has to contain the lowest and the highest digits in its cage and that schrodinger cell is going to be therefore in one of those two positions in um we're going to have to have a color for the schrodinger cells what color should we have purple one of those has to be a purple schrodinger cell and this is either going to do that or that so this is on the path uh, how am i going to show this because I, we've got loads of things going on here we've got schrodinger cells which I'm saying are purple and we've got path cells I don't know maybe I maybe I use um, apologies if this isn't going to look 
very good but we know this is the start of the path we know this is the end of the path i now know this is on the path because the path's either doing this or this and i see it might be sensible as well to sort of color cells that all of those cells yeah that's not bad actually all of those cells have to not be schrodinger cells which means that these four cells ah no i was about to say have to be six seven eight nine and add up to 30 but they could add up to eight if one of them's a zero bobbins bobbins uh well, well we do know this doesn't add up to 31 now for what that's worth so sorry i'm just i just want to think about this if this adds up to 30 these five no yeah that's right if these if this adds up to 30 these do add up to 15 because the secret is preserved in this puzzle isn't it, it what well, the, the secret being of course something i only tell my very favorite people um but of course i'll share it with you and it still applies in this puzzle even though there are 10 10 digits we're dealing with the secret is that a complete box a complete row a complete column of a sudoku contains the digits 0 to 9 once each and therefore adds to 45 um, so if if these add up to 30 these add up to 15 which is difficult I think let me just think about this how do we make because I've got to make I've got to pick one of these totals as the correct total. That doesn't, it doesn't quite work. I don't think, I'm not totally sure, but I don't think. So I'm hypothesizing that this is a 6789 quadruple. These add up to 15. I've got to pick one of these numbers. Now, if I pick one, the zero one, I know that this is going to be two normal cells which are zero and one but then this we know this isn't schrodinger so this would then be this would then be three digits that would have to add up to they can't add up to two because i can't write 12 into this square so they'd have to add up to 13 but then this is adding up to one that's 14 and this would have to be a one which will repeat the one that's in this cage. So this can't add up to one, but if this adds up to 14, this is no option to keep this down, these cells down to just 15. So I think what we're learning is that this adds up to eight in four, which means it must have a zero in it. It's a zero, it must have a one in it. And then it's either two five or three four for the remaining digits. And, and what does that mean that means these cells add up to 37 which is a lot of digits it's a lot of digitage isn't it 37 and but there are six digits in this total because one of them is schrodinger that can't be a zero because it would be the we know that this is on the path and that would be the lowest digit in the in this cage which it's not allowed to be um okay so 37 so one of these is very high because if this if this was 13 and 14 that would be a 10 gosh it's you can see or i can feel how carefully f jam has selected these totals they're sort of just out of reach of possibilities aren't they um so one of these is at least 20 so if let's say it's this one let's say that's the 20 then this couldn't be the 23 that's more than 37 so this would be 14 so 20 and 14 is one possibility and that would be 34 and that would put a 3 here and then this would be 
that would be a three in the corner. <laughs> this would be um, 0, 1, 2, 5. And how do I prove whether this is right or wrong then? This would be 14, but it, oh, how, how do we know which way round? Oh, the 20 would have to be the, the, the Schrodinger, because you can't make 20 in two cells. So this would be 14, it would have to be 6, 8. Ah, and I've run, I've lost track of the digits that I have left, have to put in here. It feels like nine, maybe nine, seven, four, maybe nine, seven, four. But that's that seems to work, doesn't it? Let's try it the other way then. So if this was if this was the twenty digit and it was twenty three, twenty three and three cells would have or three digits would have to be six, eight, nine. Um, and then. Ah, that's going to be a one. Doesn't work. Yes. Okay. So if the, if this was the if this was the twenty three digit, what do I add to that? Bearing in mind we're going for thirty seven overall. I'm go I have to pick the thirteen. Otherwise, if I pick the two, this has got to be too big. And if I pick the twenty, I'm already bust. So we have to go twenty three, thirteen. That's 36, and this would be a 1, but we know the 1 lives in the 8 cage. Good grief. So this adds this. This is the one with the Schrodinger cell. This is a normal digit. This, we said, was 6, 8. Well, no. In fact, let's do this in exact, exactly the order we did it. We then know this is 20, and 14 is 34. The secret tells us 34. 42 we get a first digit is that that's three in the corner that's three in the spotlight losing its religion that's very cool now this has to be 0125 now uh, we know that's not the biggest or the smallest digit so that's a one or a two ah ah well also once we go into this square so we're going to, well we actually now know how we're moving don't we the path must move like that because it can never go into these two squares because these are going to be normal digits therefore one of them is the highest and one of them is the lowest digit in the box we know there are six eight pegs they have to add up to 14 and that is four seven and nine which was the the guess i made when i was doing this in my head now you can see we can get rid of the circle here i think um now the next movement of the path is either going to be there or there and that again is going to have to be into a cell that cannot be the highest or lowest digit in this two by two so what that tells us is that this is a high or a low digit ah whoopsie because one of these is a one or a two um oh oh yeah this is good also i know that digit is a seven because this the schrodinger cell must take the high and low digit within the two cell cage this is really clever it's really clever so that's a seven the path goes here and then the path either goes there yeah, so the path is going to go into either there or there once it leaves box one because it can only take one more cell in this two by two and then it has to immediately exit. So it's either that one or that one. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I know which one it is. And the reason I know which one it is is it can't be this one if you think about it. Because... The, the reason it can't be this one is, is we have to think about the sh how how do we go in in fact both of these are right the, these these are dominoes so if the path enters a domino that domino must contain a schrodinger cell otherwise we're entering a cell a, a cage that looks a bit like this and there's a high and a low digit neither of which can possibly be path so if we were to come into this square the only way that can be true is if this is schrodinger and that but we can only have one Schrodinger in every column or row or box. So we can never go into this square. Well, we certainly we certainly can't just go down like that. So this square is on the path, and therefore this square is the one or the two. 
and therefore uh, so hang on the path is now going that way and we know this square is a Schrodinger in order to allow us to enter the domino um, never mind entering the dragon we're going to enter the domino um, and we can well yes now all of those are gray aren't they all of these are gray because basically anything that shares a row column or box with a Schrodinger cell is converted to being a natural digit oh well, that's I feel better about that right so now oh so now but now 18 is very possible here isn't it because we're, we're effectively adding three digits um ah okay so now we now we don't go up what's so surprising about this is that it is very much about the path that's how you have to think about this in order to make any headway at all whereas when i read the rules i thought it was going to be about looking at the cage totals and ruling things out that way but look we can't go here because then we'd have to go there and we've taken two cells in a three cell cage and one of those is going to be the highest or the lowest digit at least so we have to go there and then we're going to take either this one or this one uh, and then we're going to exit again so we're either going to that cell or that cell oh maybe that's wrong no that's wrong because what you could do is go there and then up and that would only take one cell in the three cell cage so that's also possible. Ah, um, right, okay. <laughs> um, the, oh, here's another thought. In this box, the cages are exactly fulfilling or exactly filling the box. So the cage totals in this box have to add up to 45. The thing is, that's I suspect that's actually easier than I thought at first it might be. Yeah, 20, 16, 9 would work. Now, is there only that option? 15, no, 15, 18, 12 would work. Oh, bother. Okay. Um, if that was 7, we'd need... So oh, we can even do 7 here with 27 and 11. Yeah, they've all... The, this is all this is all deliberate um right so what on earth am i meant to do now i don't know i don't know we know that ah it's this isn't it uh, it's, this is so clever. It's ridiculous, this. Right, we can never... It, I don't think we take this cell, is where I'm getting to. Because, let's let's imagine we did. Now we've taken the two middle digits from this 12, 9, 27 grave. We've consumed those. So we have to exit the cage. And we have a choice about which way. We could go up, or we could go to the right. Now, the point I want to make is, if we do go up... We then have to turn, and we can't take a second cell in this grave, because that would obviously then force it to be the lowest or the highest digit. This could be the middly digit, so we're still okay at this point. So we're going to have to go there. So either way, we end up here, if we take this square. But if we end up here, this domino cage hasn't got a Schrodinger cell in it. Well, no, it could have a Schrodinger cell, but the Schrodinger cell would be there. And if the Schrodinger cell was there, we couldn't go into it because that cell is going to contain either the lowest or the highest digit or both. So we can never go into this square. Ergo, we can never go into this square. Ergo, we must go down. And then we can't go into that square. So we must go down into this square. And that gives us another Schrodinger cell because that's a domino. So there's another Schrodinger cell. There's another load of grey, another load of grey and into the grid. Now we've got a oh well, this is yeah, it's, again it's so clever because now we can't go into this one because there's no Schrodinger opportunity so we've got to turn left and then we can't take either of these because 
basically we know that this cell is the middle digit in this 22 3 20 cage so we have to go there and that means we need a Schrodinger cell because that's a domino which means we're going to get another cell here which is Schrodinger which means we have to turn away from the Schrodinger and we can do more gray good grief okay so all of those all of these turn gray and we've entered a five cell cage hmm a five cell cage is a bit annoying isn't it because we could certainly we could take up to three cells in this and avoid the highest or the lowest digit um there's a schrodinger in one of these The, oh, sorry they're gray I don't know why I haven't got those as gray just all I'm doing is um, a Sudoku on my Schrodinger cells we've actually we've actually almost pinpointed them all haven't we not them all but we've, we've certainly got quite a lot of them uh, I guess that can't be Schrodinger it's not even in a cage oh no maybe that is maybe that could be Schrodinger then that's a thought isn't it could that be a Schrodinger cell and it's not in a cage so does that obey the rules yeah I think that's fine so maybe that's where the Schrodinger cell is going to go in the final box I'm going to be on the alert for that um, now okay this one can't add up to two now sick <laughs> but it could add up to four I think if this was zero one three would that work if this was zero one three oh goodness it is zero one. Oh, this is this is again it's almost like these cage totals have been designed to be monstrously clever because okay i can see this is not zero one two uh sorry it's not, it's not adding up to zero two because how do we do that we could put a zero in the cage but we've still got two more numbers to put in because this has got to take two digits and we can't make two different sudoku numbers that aren't zero add up to two so zero two is off the cards zero four is possible and i think correct because seven eight nine which is the way we'd have to do 24 is really quite interesting because this digit by sudoku it's, it's even quite complicated to see this you can see that that square there it couldn't it's schrodinger and it can't be seven so it would be eight or it would be eight nine now that's not right for this because that means this is the seven but the seven is the lowest digit in the cage which we're not allowed we're not supposed to go through so so this can't be 24 and it does add up to zero four so it is zero one i see it's zero one three but we know the one must be the middly digit that we can access so that is a zero three now i see so that's now one that's the two now this is this this cell i know it doesn't really look like it but it does really contain a zero so that can't contain a zero so that's a five that's a zero There's a one down here. There's a three, a three down in this cage. We'll have a look at that in a moment. There's a zero down here, actually. And we've entered this cell. Now, this cage doesn't add up to 19 because these are three natural digits with a three in them. So this would have to be 379 and the 9 would clash with this cell. So this is either 12 or 14. 
Now, <laughs> can we do better than that? If it's 12, it's two more digits. It can't be 12. It just can't be. Because to be 12 without a 1 and a 2 in it, or a 0, it would have to be 3, 4, 5. And it can't be because there's a 4. So this adds up to 14. Wow. It's 14 involving a 3. So two more digits add up to 11, which are not 2, 9, 3, 8, or 4, 5, 4, 7. So it's 5, 6. 3, 5, 6 is what we put in here. And these two squares are uh, 7 and 8, I want to say. Now, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Because well, I'm just thinking now, if there was no 9 in this cage, then one of these two digits is the highest number. So that then we'd have to turn because we couldn't go through this square. We could come. No, we can't. Ah, hang on. There's something I should notate here. I was suddenly thinking, could we go back in here? But we can't go back in here because this cell must be the middly digit of this 22, 3, 20 cage. So these two squares are out of bounds. Um, I don't think we can ever go to this square because if we do that, we'll have to turn down. Oh, no, we can. We can go straight through. No, hang on. That was not what I was thinking. I was seeing we couldn't do that. Hmm. Um. Don't know. Oh, can we do maths here? It's a strange thought. So we've got four here. Oh, and this is not adding up to 12. We've already got 15 in it. These are three normal digits, the minimum size of which would be 245, which is 11. 11 and 7 and 8. Oh, of course, it is 26, isn't it? So this could be 26. This would be 6 and 9. 6 here, 9 here. Oh, can we do Sudoku? There's a 5 in one of those squares. There's a six in one of these two squares. Hmm, don't, it's probably not the way to do this. Um, ah. Well, these are three natural digits. And the path has to take one of those because we're so, at the moment we're sort of trapped in to box four. And then we're going to have to exit into box seven, aren't we? Because we can't take these squares. So whenever we get into box seven, to get in to get to the over here, we're going to have to cut this boundary at some point. But to cut this boundary, we have to take one of these squares. And we can only take exactly one of these because the other two will be the highest or the lowest digit in this cage. So there is a boundary that goes from the five across like that uh, which is probably probably interesting 24 if there was a 9 in here that would be 24 plus at least 2 and 4 which is 30 Right, so here's a thought. Is it possible to say there is not a 9? Oh, this is important. This is important. Is there a 9 in this cage? I think the answer is no. Because we've got 7 and 8 in. If we had 9 as well, we'd be at 24. But the other two digits in this cage couldn't be 0 or 1. So they'd be at least 2 plus 4, which is 6 which would give us 30, which is not a valid total. So there is no 9 in this cage. Now that means there's a, there is a 9 in one of these two, but that's not the real point. The point is that that means 8 is the highest digit in this cage, and that cannot be an 8. So that must be 7, this must be 8, and the path must turn away from the 8. I suspect it has to drop now, but I'm not certain. Um... Let me think about that. So if it did do that, then it would have to do that. This would have to be the 9. And then it would have to do that. 
this would have to be the Schrodinger because we need to put a Schrodinger somewhere. So then it would do that, that, and that. That's actually that. That may well be possible, mightn't it? Okay, so I can't, I can't deduce anything. I don't think from that sort of thinking. Um, how do we do this then? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think maybe we have to do more pencil marking <laughs> in the absence of any better ideas. There's an eight in one of those. Ah, there's a seven down here. Oh, but okay. But we know that one of these is Schrodinger. So this cage has a nine in it now. So it's not adding up to 11, even if it is unschrodinger Oh no, it could. That's no, no. That's right. That's right. There are three more digits. One of them could be a zero, but that's still no good. We can't make two from two digits that are not zero. So it's not eleven. Could it be thirty-four? If it was thirty-four, this digit would have to be Schrödinger. And the only way of making thirty-four with different Sudoku digits is four, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, six, so this would be a six, eight pair. That would have to be eight. This would have to be six. Four, seven, nine. This would have to be nine. This would be a four, seven Schrodinger. I'm just, I'm just pausing. So I'm just trying to think about whether or not that's okay. I think that would make that a four. This would probably be a 2-5 pair. That almost feels right to me, you know, that this is 34. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how to approach this, actually. What we could do is... Can I now get a better handle on what this adds up to, maybe? If this was a 6, then we'd have 21. I'd have two digits left that would have to add up to either 5 without being 0, 5, without being 1, 4, without being 2, 3. So that couldn't be that. So if this is 6, this has to add up to 29. And the other two digits would have to be... Oh, that doesn't work. This is hard. This is really hard. But I'm, I'm not even sure it's right. But I don't think this can be a six. So let's go through that again. If this is a six, I've got 21. So we're either heading up for a 26 total. Which would require these two to add up to five. This prevents 0, 5. This prevents 1, 4. This prevents 2, 3. So that seems wrong. So then we're, then we're heading up to 29, which means we need these two to add up to 8. It couldn't be, this is a 6. So it couldn't be 2, 6. It couldn't be 1, 7. It couldn't be 3, 5. Okay, I'm convinced. So that's a 6. This is a 9. Um, and these are 2, 4, and 5. And that's not 5. Ah, and this is great now, because th this can't be the 2, can it? Because if this was the 2, it would be the lowest digit, and yet we know it's on the path. <laughs> so this becomes a 2-5 pair. Oh, and this, right, and this is what tells me about how the path moves. The path now can't go there, because it would have to go through the 9, and the 9 must be the highest digit there. So it drops down here. It can't go through the 8, can't go through the 9. So we've sort of cre created a sort of straight here that we've got to move through. Straight, S-T-R-A-I-T. Um, right. Now, does that... Well, now at least we can pencil mark things a bit more fully. What have we got at the bottom? We've got 0, zero 1, 4, 7. A sort of strange snooker maximum. And at the bottom of this one... We have got 28289. That seems strange, but possible. That's not 9. It would repeat in the box or in its, in its grave. 
Uh, oh. <laughs> but. Okay, so we're on 15, aren't we? So can we make these add up to 5? No. No, we can't. So this, this is adding up to 34, which means this is the Schrodinger. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic, though, because now that's got to be 8. And this has got to be a 4, 7 combination. And this has not got 4 and 7 in it. So we've got a 0, 1 greys down here. We get greys all across here. Uh, the 8 is OK. Yeah, the 8 is OK because the 9 is the top digit. So we can go through the 8. We can't go here now. And we either turn here. OK, so now the path can't go directly down to this point because it will go through a 9 if it does that. So it either goes there and turns across. And we know it can only take one cell of these. And it, the cell it takes is a 5. So this can't be a 5. Um, the 5 is definitely in one of these two and that is the way that we cross this boundary but if we do drop to this one this has to be a 2 and then we go like that and we've got this sort of Wellington boot here that we've got to deal with which it's quite a low, low totaling Wellington boot. Normally I'd look at that Wellington boot and say it has to have a one in it, but that's not true because of the 30, but well, because of the zero option, basically you don't have, once zero becomes a possibility, we can't make that assumption anymore. How on earth am I going to get traction down here? I just don't understand. don't understand uh is it this then if this was zero three it would have to be zero one two and that would be a one so it's not three so this is high right that's going to be where we have to go now okay so this is high now can we assume if it's got a nine in it If it was eight seven five it would have to be eight seven no hang on if it's eight seven five we need the seven to be on the path so it'd be seven eight five i was just thinking about whether it could be 20 without using a nine otherwise it's 22 and it does need a nine and this would have to be the nine because it couldn't be on the path Uh, okay, let's think about it differently then. If it was 22, it would be 9, 6, 7, and the 7 would be on the path. Actually, we might be able to limit this digit, mightn't we? Maybe that's what I have to do, because that's always going to be the middle of the options. Ah, but if this is 20 with a 9, these have to add up to 11. Oh, no, I don't really like that option. Again, I'm not sure. That doesn't feel like it's under as much pressure as I was thinking it was going to be. Going to be. Um, I don't. I didn't feel when we were drawing the path up here that it was particularly anything. Uh, we might be able to work out what these two cages are actually. Let's think about that because we know that the secret applies in row one. And we must know what this adds up to. This adds up to 20. So I've got 23. So I've got 22 for all of those digits. So this can't be 20. Oh, it could be 11, 11. Oh, 15, 7. Bother. So it's either 11, 11. Um, <laughs> if it was 11, 11, one of them would have to have a zero in. And the other one would have to have a one in. Let's just have a think about that. Because you couldn't put the zero and the one in the same string. Because obviously the other digit would then have to be a ten. Now. That, oh, I thought that wasn't going to work. So this would have to, the one with the one in would have to be with a two and an eight. 
and the one with the zero in would be with a five and a six and that works okay so that works that's not the way to think about it so maybe we can rule out 15 7 then which is the other way I think might work 15 7 the 7 would have to have a 0 in it because otherwise it would be 1 2 4 and that's going to break against this 4 here so there would be a 0 in the 7 along with two digits that add up to seven which were not three four so two five or one six hmm well that seems fine unless i'm missing a trick there okay <laughs> that's a bit worrying that really is a bit worrying don't understand that. I don't understand how I'm meant to disambiguate that, and I'm very far from convinced that I can do anything else in the rest of this grid. I know that's the middle digit of this cage, but there surely is no restriction on this, is there? Uh, actually, maybe I can maybe I can get rid of seven from this cage as an option I'm not sure but when I was just doing it in my head I didn't think it worked <laughs> that could be total and utter gibberish right let's do that again so this is three digits that add up to seven so first question is could we not use a zero if we don't use a zero it's one two four but that swell which has to be the middle digit would have to be a two and it can't be so it's not so it would have a zero in it but the zero would be there by sudoku and it doesn't work because again, that's going to be the extreme digit. Wow. Okay, so this, this is a high number. It's 16 or 18. But, but, and this is the big but, we're heading up. We're heading up to a big total here, aren't we? Um... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sure how to approach <laughs> how to approach that question. Actually, uh, that's very unclear to me as to, as to exactly. I mean, I've got. I know I've got two big digits in these cages because I've got nine and seven to think about. I suppose this can't be zero nine seven. Because again, it, this, this would have to contain the zero and the nine and it would clash. I'm feeling, I'm, I feel like I'm being very slow about this now. And the thing is, this this ridiculous 12, the, the option of 12 here could be 0, 1, 2, 9, couldn't it? And we put the 0 and the 9 here, 0, 9. Oh no, that doesn't work with the 1, 2 pair. This would have to be a 1 or a 2. Okay, so the, the 9, so if the 9 is in here, we have to be going up for 27. That doesn't work. Ah, so maybe there's a 9 in here. Wow, I'm sure I'm doing this um, in an unintended way. But look, if this is a 9, well, this is a 9. <laughs> I know it's, it's a 4 and a 9. But that means in if, this, if the 9, which is in either this grave or this grave, if the 9 is in this grave and we try and go to 12, we can't do it because these have to be the middle digits and they have to be a 1-2 pair and that breaks. So we have to go for 27. Now, why did I think this broke? Oh, the, yeah, no, the reason I thought this broke, I was looking at the cage thinking it, it might well work. No, the reason I thought this broke was if this, is, if this is 27, we know this is 16 or 18. So the minimum sum of these two cages together is 43. And there's no way this, this is adding up to a reasonably middly number. 
So that's never going to work to keep this whole box down to 45. So the 9 is in here. And oh, I see. And the 9 is the extreme digit. So that this has got this cell contains, this Schrodinger cell contains a 9. Now, what else are we putting in here to make it work? I don't know is the short answer. Oh, hang on. I, uh, right. This is brilliant. Again, it's brilliant. It's such interesting logic every at every stage. OK, but if this has got a nine in it and it does, isn't that impacting on this, which I worked out couldn't be couldn't be adding up to three. And it can't add up to 22 now because nine is not available. So this is five, seven, eight adding up to 20. Um, let me put that in and let's see if we can deduce anything from that. That's not a, well, this is the path cell. So it's got to be the middle digit. That's a seven. So this is five and this is eight. So it all gets filled in as the weather comes tumbling down again. Um, well, that probably puts some stress on how this can work. Maybe. So if this is 18 now, the only way we can make 9 more, we can't use 4, 5, 1, 8 or 2, 7. It's going to be a 3, 6 pair and the 6 is going to be the middle digit. So we could have a 6 here and a 3 here. That's one way this could work. But if this is 16, then we need 7 more and we couldn't have 2, 5. And we couldn't have 0, 7. Because the 0 would be in the wrong position. So we're looking at 1, 6 or 3, 4. Now 1, 6. Again, this would be 6. This would be 1. 3, 4. This would have to be a 4. And this would be a 3. That's so annoying. I cannot tell you how annoying that is. That does mean there is a 7 in this cage now for what that's worth, which is probably 0. Um, there's no rule about us not repeating digits in Schrodinger cells or anything, is there? No, I don't think so. I was just wondering whether I could make... I mean, I can't do it yet, but whether I could... If, if you couldn't have the same two digits in a Schrodinger, that might have helped me at some stage. Um, wow, right. So what does this mean? Very unsure. Let's, well, we can do a tiny bit of Sudoku. Seven, eight, <laughs> that's it. That's literally it. Um, I don't know. OK, if this is adding up to seven now, the three cells together are not adding up to nine, are they? I mean, this can't add up to 27. Yeah, that, that, that maybe that's the point. This is now adding up to 12. Because it can't add up to 9, because we've got three more digits to cater for, and we know there's a 7 in the cage. Um, and 0, 1, 2, which is the minimum, adds up to 3. So we know if this is 27, this is at least 16, we're breaking the bank for the box. So this, this adds up to 12, and we've got three more digits in here that add up to 5, so they must include a 0, and the 0 is up here and the 0 can be placed because it can't be on the path. Good grief! Okay, so that's stage 1 of our logic. Now the other two digits in here are either a 1-4 pair or a 2-3 pair. Now, <laughs> how do we tell which of those is true? Well, OK, so the 7 is the highest digit in the, in the box, so that's a 7. So this is either a 1-4 pair, which would have to be like that, or a 2-3 pair, which would have to be like that. 
there is a zero now in this cage by Sudoku. Uh, no, that's. I was thinking maybe that's going to tell me whether this was seven or eleven. I thought this was adding up to, didn't I? So this is now twelve. Ah, oh, bother. So hang on, if that's twelve. Yeah, this is it. This is it. If this is adding up to twelve, and this is adding up to not. 18 so if it's adding up to 16 we've got 28 haven't we and this would have to add up to 17 which is not an option so this is 12 this is 18 and this is 15 this is 15 this is 7 and it's got 0 in oh, so we don't know it's either 0 1 6 or 0 2 5 0 1 6 0 2 5 I think everything so this has got the alternative in and we're heading up towards 15 here. So we know there's an 8 in here. Maybe that would have been the way to think about this sooner. But I didn't think of that. That's not 8. None of this is path. So um, Now what did we say this was adding up to? 18. Now when we know this is a 9. Oh, and this only had one way of doing 8. Uh, 18 it had to be 936 so that oh hang on hang on we've got to be careful this is schrodinger so this is this is a six and that's three means this is a four and this is a one because two three is now not available for this domino okay few so we can disambiguate this it wasn't easy to do it but you can do it so this is two five eight and that does add up to that's not eight or oh, actually that's a two Okay, that's good. Um, and this is not 2, 5 now. We can get rid of the 0 in the corner. We've got 0, 1, 6 over here. Oh, we've got a 6 here, so that's 6. We're going to actually get strike. We're going to sort of know what these digits have to be from. Uh, 3, 5, 7, 9. 3, 5, 7, 9. 3, 5, 7, 9. And these are 2, 4, 8. And and that's a Schrodinger cell, I think, by parity. <laughs> that might be wrong. Uh, that's right. That's definitely right. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, because this is even. The total for the cage is even. So this has to add up to an even number. So if it was just a single odd number it would be wrong. So it must be two odd numbers, which therefore add up to an even number. That gives us more greyification. Um, good grief. I, I, that, that's a very beautiful step to me, at least. Um, okay, so this is... This is Schrodinger. No, it could still be 10. 3, 5 and a 2. If it was 16, I would have thought that's easier, 5, 7, 4. Okay, so we don't know what this adds up to, or at least I don't. Um, what could we do? We could do some Sudoku. I know it's against my better judgment. Oh, look, we know what these digits are. No, that's that's where we're going to go next. 0, 1. 0, 1, 4. Oh, they're, very, they're very small numbers. 0, 1, 4 is 5. So, this digit is either 3, 5, or 8. I don't believe it. Type, touch Victor Meldrew-esque, but that seems to have all its options available. And wherever we cross the boundary, we're going to... We're not, whatever we cross, wherever we cross, we're not going to be able to have a zero, are we? Because zero is the lowest digit here. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. So let's try more Sudoku then. Four is in one of those squares. One is in one of these squares. Zero is in one of those. Oh no, zero can't be there. Zero is in one of those squares. Does, does that help? <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I really don't know. Again, I'm sort of... I'm feeling a bit nonplussed by this. Um, oh, here's another point. There's another parity point for that cell, isn't there? That's even, that's odd. The total's even. So that's got to be an odd number, and it's not 3, 1, or 7. So that square is not able to be 8. This is a 5 or a 9 only. And literally, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> this is so mean. This, this, is, a, this is sort of... Uh, this is Italian shaped, isn't it? This is like a boot in the right direction for Italy. Um, hmm, I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> How? Okay. Um, let's think again. This is a Schrodinger cell. So if we probably we probably can rule out something here, can't we? If this is yeah, because we've also got to think about the fact this will have to be the middly digit in this domino. So if this was adding up to seven, we can see this can't be one two four. So it would involve the zero. The zero would be here. Then we'd need two digits. So it'd have to be zero two five. Oh, it can't be. Hang on, that doesn't work. Right, that was a very, very marginal point, but I don't think this adds up to seven. Um, it would have to contain a zero, and the other two digits adding up to seven, none of the two, well, none of one, six, two, five, or three, four are available. So this, this either adds up to eight or 16. Now, if it adds up to eight, if it's three digits, it would need a zero again, because it can't have a one. So it would be zero, two, six is the only way it could work. Zero, two, six, and the, this would be a zero, six, and this would be a two. And the very unfortunate thing about that is that I think that works. Botheration. can't see why that doesn't work okay let's try and disprove 16 then which I think will be harder um, 16 okay so if there was no if there was no 9 in here how would that work because there's no 7 8 or 5 so we'd only be left with the digits 6 4 and 3 and that doesn't add up to enough so there would be a 9 in here that would have to be here a lot oh that no that's got That's got the same problem. Good grief. Right, this is, this is absolutely beautiful. If this is 16, it has to have a 9 in it. The 9 has to go here. The other two digits have to add up to 7, which we've already found was a great big problem. But there's only two of the digits now. They can't be 0, 7, because 7 in the box. They can't be 1, 6. They can't be 3, 4. And they can't be 2, 5. It just simply doesn't work. So this adds up to 8, which we mean, meant it had a 0 in it. Which so the zero it goes in the Schrodinger cell, that's not zero. And the other two digits add up to eight, which means they're two six. We need the two as the middle digit on the path. So this is a zero six Schrodinger. The two fixes the two and the five. There's a five that fixes that one. That's a nine. That might do some work on this cage, possibly, which can't add up to twelve anymore. Um, or ten actually yeah one actually this being nine has really affected this hasn't it i feel like i think it's got to be nine eight five it makes me question everything this i, I don't see another way of making that work nine eight five is the only way i can see of making those add up to either 12 10 or 22. so that knocks eight out of these squares it knocks five out of these squares. This one might be worth checking now. So this can't be nine and seven, can it? So the one of the digits in here must be a three. So that's not a three. Because if this was nine, seven, it's already broken the bank by the time it adds a non-zero number into this square. Um, so it's three. 
So if it was 3, 7, 3, 7 with a 4 would work. I think that's the only way it works. No, no, that's not true. 3, 9 with a 4 works as well. And 3, 9 with a 2 works. Oh, bother. Okay. So that's, that's unhelpful. Okay, so this, and this is huge. So I don't think we're going to le learn a lot more from that. What about then, what about, there was something else I wanted to do. What was it? N oh, nine. Nine by Sudoku is there, I think. That wasn't what it was, but I want to do that. So that's got to be a one. That's got to be a four. I've not put three in this box, which must go here. And now we can get these two digits narrowed down. They are six and eight, I think. Let's put that in. We now know what these digits are, which are one, three, and no, five. One, three, and five. That's not five. And these digits are which one of which has to be Schrodinger. So there's a Schrodinger over here, a zero two four seven. Um, let's get rid of the seven corner mark there. We know there's a Schrodinger here, in either a funny cage here or a funny cage here. Oh, here's a tiny point. There's a that's a that's a T pentomino isn't it i think that cage it can't have a repeated digit in it so this one knocks a three out of here sorry this one knocks a one out of here and makes this a three or a five um now what does that mean this cage can't add up to 11 because these two squares add up to at least 13 13 13. In fact, they can't add up to 17 either, this, this cage, because, again, 13 plus 2 is 15, and these two squares don't have a zero option. So this cage adds up to 23. Now, is that interesting? This is at least 4, so these are a maximum of 19. Ah, no, that's still tricky, I think. Okay, let's try and remember this adds up to 23, though. That might come in handy at some stage. Um, ah, that's a 3, so that's not a 3, and that seems to give me a 5-8 pair in this column. Now that means these squares are a 7-9 pair. Ah, ah and... That three can't repeat. We haven't put three in box eight yet. And it can't go in those two squares. So it goes here. Just pausing in case that is... Is that... I'm not sure. I don't know. Do we know whether that's... We don't know whether that's a Schrodinger cell. But we do know it's, it's definitely got three in it. And that seems to get me that digit. So that's a six. This is a 3-5 pair. We know this is crossing with the 5, wherever that goes. If we can isolate the 5, we'll know where the crossing happens. Um, those squares add up to 19 at the moment. Oh, can we really make this... Can we make that a 6-8 pair? That would be 8. Oh, but one of them can be Schroding it. Oh, Simon. Goodness me, this is complicated. Right, okay, so what we have to do is... What? I don't have a clue. Maybe I have to pencil mark all these digits. Two, three, five, six, eight. Really? Okay, two, three, five, six, eight. Um, that's not eight. Or four or... Oh, hang on. That's a Schrodinger cell. It is four and seven, isn't it? So we do know that digit's nine. We know that's seven. Oh, that's not the way round. We wanted it. That's not going to give me this digit. Oh, botheration. Right, so seven. 
7 is down here in one of those three cells. And that might mean something. I don't know what. Um, 19. So if these are adding up to 10, they could be 8, 2. They could probably be 2, 3, 5 using a Schrodinger as well. Oh, hang on. That square is not a 4. For the same reason that this sells. There could be more of this sort of thing, actually. You know, places where I've not appreciated the effect of a Schrodinger cell and its Sudoku implications, because I don't really see, I see these as options rather than a4 and a7. Um, ah. Oh, my phone is buzzing. It's okay, I think. Um, I'm just thinking that this this cell here is a nine. So this is obviously the biggest digit in its cage. So that can never be, uh, that's never available for the path, is it? This square here. I'm not sure if that matters or not. Um, how are we going to do this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry as well if you if you have an obvious way through it. Well done, well done on finding it. Um, I'm a bit stuck at the moment, but I'm. I've just looked at the clock. I've had seventy minutes. How is that? That has flown past. That is the sign of an absolutely brilliant puzzle where you just get lost in it. You just get lost and it, it, it's wonderful because it, it gives you a little bit of hope every now and again. So even when you get stuck, you know, you sort of feel, oh, it's just one more deduction and I'll be able to figure it out. Um, maybe there's a way of, no, I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm not having I'm not having sensible thoughts at the moment. All my good thoughts, I think they've dried up. <laughs> I'm now struggling big time. Um, would it? Be, I don't know. I don't know where to look. I've got to remember this square. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I can't repeat three, can I? So when I pencil mark this up, I know there's a three in that, but I don't know whether it's Schrodinger or not. That does knock two, three, five out for my option of getting to ten there. Hmm, I'm just going to mull that actually for a moment. Um... At the moment, I've got 19. So this is either adding up to 10 or to 14. I'm trying to do that without using eight. How can I do that without using 8? I'd have the digits 2, 5 and 6 to play with. And I can take 3 of them, but obviously 3 of them doesn't help me. They don't add up to the right number. The odd thing is that, but, that when you decide to use 8, there are a variety of ways of doing it. So it could be 8, 2. It could be 8, 6. Maybe this can't be Schrodinger then. Maybe that's also a point. Okay, am I, am I convinced that this has to be an 8? I think I am. I can't, I can't see a way of making the total work without it. So that, that, if that's 8, that's 8, that's 5, that's 5. 
So this is now not 5 or 8. And this is not Schrodinger because it has to be a single cell. That's not 5. Hang on, what's going on now? Okay, I see, because this is 2 or 6 and then this has got 3 in it and is Schrodinger. Good grief. And now, well now I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know there's an 8 down here uh, by Sudoku. But I still don't know what the accompanying digit is because both options for this square seem to work, I think. 24, 27. 29 with a 2. 33 with a 6. Hang on, I'm sure this is resolved now, come on. You silly man. Um, I don't know. This is, t okay, let's look at this one then. If, th if that's two digits worth of digits, that's at least five. If this is two, three, um, there's at least a seven or an eight in there. Ah, uh, there's not seven and eight. Right. Oh, hang on, I can do some more grayification as well. Let's not neglect that. Right, so sorry, what I'm thinking here is I've got seven and eight down here. Now, if I was to put them both in those squares, they would add up to 15. But there's no way to keep the, this Schrodinger cell down to a, only 4, is there? So I can't make 19 and everything else is already broken then. So this square in the corner is a 7 or an 8. Which is almost looking like it's trying to do something actually. And there's one of seven and eight in here, along with a two or a three minimum. So that's at least 12. So we're either heading, so this isn't adding up to 10. It's either adding up to 17 or 19. And, hmm. Oh, no, it's not that. Right, I'm, I'm abandoning this. I don't know what that means. It's not that. It's how you get through this box. Oh, this is gorgeous. Right, look at... Um, right, there's a variety of things we can look at here. Let's start with this, this um, boot. The boot's lowest digit is zero, but its highest digit seems to be five. Now, that's therefore not available for the path, so I can just exit. Ah, exit. Now, how do we get from wherever we're going to be in this, this cage through to this cell? There's only one way. We've got to go through there, don't we? So this square is not a zero. And this square is... Right, and let's continue that logic. This square, whatever it is, it could be two or six. It's definitely the lowest... Oh, no, it's not. No, that's I was about to say something total, total, and totally and utterly wrong because I didn't see the three. So if that's six, you could go. Oh no! <laughs> if it's six, you could go up. Okay, I, uh, well you can't go into the Schrodinger cell. Or is, uh, maybe that's not true. Oh goodness! In a in a triomino, can you go into the? Sh no, if you go in the Schrodinger cell, you'd have to turn that way, and you're going to take a low or a high digit. So that is out of bounds but I don't know about this square. Bother. And the weird thing about this is, I don't think I've ruled out how this moves. That seems so strange. Oh dear, dear, dear. Right, okay, so. <laughs> I don't know, I don't quite know how to think about it. Oh, six. Sorry, there's a six here, so that's not six. So this is a two, th two and three. That's a six. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all, because now three is the low digit in this cage, which means you could go through the six. So I'm not going to be forced. I thought I was going to be forced into box nine. Well, also... Well, I should be able to at least narrow down the options for whatever accompanies the 7 or the 8 in this cage now. Because I know it's a 2, 3 here. So I'm either on a count of 12 or 13. If I'm on a count of 12, ah, I can't have a 7. Yeah, 
Yeah, if, if I have 7 in here, then I'm on a count of 12 overall, and I've got to get to 17 or 19. So I can't have a second 7, and I can't have a 5, so it's an 8 in here. This is beautiful. So that's a 7 in the corner, an 8 in the cage. I'm now on a count of 13, to which I need to add either 4, so it's either 4, 8, or... Uh, what else do I need? Six. It's not that. No, that's so. This is four eight. Oh, this is done. Right, I see. So it's eight here, four here. That's not four. That's a six. That's an eight. Please keep going. We don't want that to stop and peter out. There's a six in one of those by Sudoku. The seven is useful. Look at that, I didn't use that, but that gets me a nine here. That completes this Schrodinger cell. So that's a three and a seven, which fixes that that's a five. Um, now we can probably do maths on that box, but let's, let's delay that gratification for a moment just while we try and work other stuff out. Uh, he says, and then fails to be able to do it. Ah, Simon. Okay, so come on this is 10 and we need to get to the number that was so that's got to be four that's got to be two now we have to check that this adds up to a number that's a, that's actually okay so we're on 19 23 yes 23 is there as an option um this is three and seven so that is not seven do we know which of these is the schrodinger we know oh, it's one of these two. Oh, and i've still got a schrodinger to find over here if this was the schrodinger then presumably we have to go that way. Okay, so in this cage, the eight is the high digit, isn't it? I'm actually going to X that digit then, just to make it clear. So if we go that way, we're going to have to do that. If that's the Schrodinger, then you have to go up here. That doesn't seem... Oh, I suppose that could be a Schrodinger, and that might work then. Okay, so how have I actually... Have I progressed this or not? <laughs> I think perhaps I can narrow... Oh no, because this is Schrodingerable. Schrodingerable, whatever that word is. Um, that's not six. <laughs> Clutching at the wildest of straws here. Um, we need zero... Oh, that's not four, actually. Zero, one, two, three, and nine. No, zero, one, zero, one, two, and nine. So that's zero, one, or two. And nine, if I'm not mistaken, is exactly there. Oh, that's that's very un that's troubling, because nine is a very large digit in the context of Sudoku. That's now a nine. That's a two. We know that's a two, don't we? So there's a two up here, which is in one of these two cells. But the, the reason this is troubling is you can't go into this square. So now my path has to take me up into the six. Now, ah, but you can't even rule out going there because there might be a zero in the T-pen domino. Oh, how this is barbaric. It's absolutely barbaric. Okay, so... What on earth do I do now? How do I... Maybe I have to actually add, look at the options. I'm on 12 here. I've got to get to 27. But I could use three digits. But that would still only add up to nine. That's not enough, is it? So in fact... In fact... No, no, no. That's really... This is mean. This is actually mean this time. Because we have to be going for 21. And this has to include a 2-7 pair, which means, I'm just thinking, does that mean, but I don't think I know whether this is Schrodinger or not. I'm probably missing a way that I can, because I, I, need, I need nine more in these two cells. So I, ne I need that to be a two. I need this to be a seven. So that can't be a seven, but I don't think I know whether this is Schrodinger or not. This square is not a two. 
So, so now I've got a zero one pair in this row. Good God, what on earth is going on here? This is crazy. I don't know. I mean, is it? It's going. I think it's the path somehow. Is it's going to be the path? probably have to just be a bit more diligent in my Sudokuage. That's a two by Sudoku. That probably, well that can be on the path because that's going to be a middly digit given we've got a zero or a one and a nine in this cage. We're on 11, look. So the other cells here have to add up to either three or eight. That eight looks difficult, actually. Maybe this is, so maybe this is where I have to look now. I keep, I keep looking at this column thinking it must be resolved. I must know which of these is the Schrodinger. And I don't, I don't know if I do. I'm just not seeing it. I think I've got, I think also at this point, I tend to get a bit tired. Now, okay, that square is a three or a five, isn't it? Look, just looking at the, the geometry of this this row that's a three or a five in this cage but that doesn't seem to help all right so i am going to look at this cage then i'm on 11 so 11 is ruled out because i can't make both of those zero now if we're going for 14 then these two squares have to add up to three now if this is zero Oh, this could be a three, could it? I don't know. Please, please don't tell me that. It could be. If that's zero and that's three, that would work. That's not the that's not the answer we're looking for. I think that's the only way it can work. Okay, so but if we're going for nineteen, maybe we can rule that out. We need eight more. Um so how are we going to do that? We could do zero eight, no, that doesn't work. We could do one seven, that doesn't work. Oh, so maybe it is. May, sorry, maybe that's the point. It has to be 14 and it has to be that way. I, I don't trust anything at the moment in this puzzle. I really don't. Uh, eight more. There is no way. Oh, Schrodinger. That's what I was forgetting. What about if this is Schrodinger? Okay, so if this is Schrodinger, then all bets are off. Well, if it's 14... I, no, it couldn't be 14, but if it was, no, and you can't, I don't think you can do it, can you? I suddenly have a horrible thought. What if this was 3-5 Schrodinger? No, it couldn't be 3-5 Schrodinger. It's pretty complicated, this, but I, I, I think, well, maybe a better way is to think about 6, which seems to have to be in one of these squares. If this was 6, 17, this would have to, that couldn't work. There's no way, even if this is whatever this is, and I, whether I Schrodinger it or not, it doesn't work. So that's 6. That seems to require this to be 5, using our pencil marking, which requires that to be 5 and that to be 3. Now, we know that this now, this cell has got three in it. Uh, we don't know whether that's Schrodinger. <laughs> we know it's a six, but it could be a Schrodinger six. But I don't think a Schrodinger works here. I'm going, this is the one I'm going to major on. So if this is 11, if this is Schrodinger, these two squares, which are three digits, have to either add up to three, which is impossible, or eight. Now if they add up to eight and this was zero, this would either have to be one, seven, two, six, or three, five, all of which are ruled out. If this is one, these have to add up to seven and they can't be one, six, two, five, or three, four. So this, so this is Schrodinger. That is not Schrodinger. That's Schrodinger. This is therefore not six. It's, it's sort of little six, if you like. It's little six. Ah, but when I took the six, when I 
Did I consider whether this could be a 6-5 pair? I didn't. Okay, I've got to go back, sorry. Because I, I, I made an assumption. What I did was I put a 6 in here as a big digit and then said, ah, that means that's a 5. But if this is Schrodinger, which I've now worked out it is from studying this square, this could be a 5 and a 6 in the same cell. Whoa, okay, so this is grey, this is grey, this is Schrodinger, which means it's 0, 7, because that's the only options left to make this T pentomino work. So that is 4. That's not 0. I think this has to be a 3. I think that's where we got to with the, the analysis of this. I'm not sure if that's going to get us to the same place over here, but I think we've done it more logically this time. Um, so hang on let's just go back how are we doing this we've got we need eight more without using Schrodinger's yes yeah, so, so that if this is 19 which it can't be so we are going for 14 these have to add up to three so zero and three works one and two don't so this is zero this is three that's five that's five that's three that is Schrodinger which means it's six and one Okay, so that's a zero in the corner, no song. That's a one and a six. That is three and one. This is zero and one. This is a four. I've got no clue whether this is working in terms of the path now, I have to say. This is um, this is what we're now, we, we might have done the Sudoku, but we haven't even thought through the path at all. So, we know we had to go through the 5 here, didn't we? So we have to do that, I think. Yeah, we can't go through the 3, because the 3 is the lowest digit in this cage. We have to drop to a 2, which is a midly digit in this cage, turn right, go through the 5, Straight through the 5 takes us into a 4. Now we could go to the 1, except that the 9 is not available. So we then go through the straight, into the six, into the 8, up to the 6. We can't go into a 0, so we are going up here. <gasps> yeah, that's how oh, I thought that was broken. But it's not broken because we have a 0 in the Schrodinger cell. We can't go into a 9 ever. Can we? We can't. No, we can't go that way or we're going to go get corralled into a Schrodinger. So we go into a 2, which is... No, it's not broken. Zero, two, is, 2 is okay. It's between z 0 and... So this Schrodinger contains both the high and the low digits. So we can't go into it. So we've got to go up. 1. I tell you what, if we end up going up here, that is going to be sensationally clever. Because that is so ridiculous. I, but I think that we are. This square is the lowest digit in Italy. And we can't go into it. So we have to go up again. We can't ever go into a 9. We can't ever go into a, a dominoed 4. 4-9 four pairs. We go up again. <laughs> and then we can... <laughs> This is ridiculous. We can go into the 8 because it is the middle digit in this cage. And then we can't go into the 5 because that's the low digit. So we must go across to the 2. So we're now we're now coming down Italy. <laughs> we're in Venice. So we're going downwards. Um, 8 is okay. Yeah, the 1 is the low digit. So we come straight down here. We must end up in this Four, which isn't the low digit we can't go in there so we have to come down into the five the one and the six here is the low digit in this cage i'm not sure i ever added this cage up it adds up to 16 so we go left into the two which is fine down into the three which is fine this is ridiculous down into the four and into the seven that is one of the greatest finishes i've ever seen in a puzzle that is absolutely extraordinary. That you can make, that you can find a sort of labyrinthian way, parceling through middly digits that, that does that sort of meander, a sort of random walk at the end of this puzzle. That is absolutely incredible. I don't know. Let's see if it's right. Yes, that's seventy-five people have solved that. Well done. Hour and a half for me. I mean that. 
that was hard one that was it was fantastic that is a fantastic puzzle i hope that you i hope some of you had a go i hope you if you didn't i hope you enjoyed me wrestling with that i'm sorry if i was a bit slow in places but i was very anxious not to make an error i think I hope I didn't make any logical errors. It doesn't seem like I did because I got through it, but I think it would be incredibly easy to make a logical error or a, a bad assumption when you do a puzzle like this. It was absolutely brilliant, that was. Abs I don't know how the software knows with the Schrodinger cells that I've got it right, but it, se it seemed to say seemed to say I got it right. Um, so that's absolutely fantastic, f -Jam. <laughs> Jam just pops up with these graveyard puzzles every year and they are absolutely amazing happy halloween ah oh, i look forward to the comments on this one i enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic <laughs>